this is where we're staying in San Andres. It's a good spot. Look, there's little coconuts up there. Just gonna get a, uh, a golf buggy and then drive around the island on it. Check out all the different little coves and bays and beaches and all that kind of stuff. So come with us as we uh, go on this journey. Fast man. Anyway, back to Kieran. So yes, you heard it here. We're in a golf buggy in San Andres in the Caribbean. I hope you're jealous. Pedro. Uh, Kira. Kira. Uh, These guys are, they're not official guides or anything, they just stand out the front and like tell you they're gonna get your guidance or just to get like a tip. Yeah. So she doesn't even know her way around this thing. She's like asking me which way we want to go. And she just moved the barbed wire fence for us to like just go in. We're probably not even meant to be in here. However, it's pretty beautiful. So I'll give her a tip. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> she gave us confidence for a few moments. So what just happened, which I think was a bit funny. The lady who we were paired up with to come and take a look, we thought that she was our guide, but she didn't seem to understand any of her questions. Turns out, due to the language barrier, we didn't even realize that she's just a fellow tourist. That explains this perplexing situation. Yeah, positive vibe. Hey, back this. With or without? Uh -huh. You know with or without what I mean? Uh, no. This is almost like, like, like alligator. They are not really alligator. Mm. The, the same family. What are they called? Oh, wow. Oh, what are they for? There's a few people on our show. The tree gets great. By what? By a hurricane. Botanic teachers, they say that it's a tree at 500 feet. They know. Yeah. Boys, you all are very kind. Oh, you're very kind. Yes, you all really, really, you all are very kind. It's not everybody, not every tourist come to the island that's kind. One love, positive vibration. The buggy broke down. Right there was at the south tip of the island. There's waves. There's people. And um, we had a few drinks. Bicycle. Sorry, 
think we should address the uh, the burning ring of fire situation. Oh my god, that was the most pain I've been in this whole fucking trip. I'm still free. You haven't gone yet. I haven't gone yet. It was so bad. Do you know how you, you, know how you fix it? How do you fix that shit? Just have some more chili. No. Yeah. Just have, Maybe just have more. Kieran, you should explain what. what it's uh, explain the shit. Mad Dog 357. Oh my god. It's. Uh, it's some pretty damn hot chili uh, sauce. I bought some over in LA. It's like the infernos of hell live inside your anus and they just like tickle it for like a long period of time. You can't escape. There's no fucking escape. I was trying to like, I don't want to say what strategies I use to mitigate the pain. None of them work. Oh, 